problem we're trying to solve is heat stress and it's about um, how we are going to be able to supply livestock in a safe, controlled way that minimises exposure to adverse animal welfare outcomes. The livestock export industry has been trialling dehumidification technology to see how effective it is at reducing heat and humidity on a vessel. One of the biggest concerns to the industry and the community is the welfare of sheep leaving Australia's winter for the Middle East in summer. It prompted exporters to place a moratorium on shipments during June, July and August in 2019 and the regulator is considering policy options for 2020. What we're looking at is to try to address that problem to minimise risk of stress to animals during this shipping period to meet the needs of Australian producers as well as the Middle Eastern consumers to be able to supply our products to them for a longer period of time in the safest possible way. The trial, run by R&D Body LiveCorp, involves setting up dehumidification units on a wharf in Dubai in late June. A vessel was moored alongside and the dry air pumped into two closed off decks under varying conditions, including with and without the ship's ventilation system running. The result? Yes, the technology reduced temperature and humidity on an empty deck. But, of course, real life shipping conditions mean having sheep on board. It would have been irresponsible to involve sheep in the trial without evidence they would come to no harm. So the team developed a model from the data to factor in the sheep and the heat they produce. To counteract the additional heat, it was estimated that around three times as much dry air would be needed to have a meaningful impact. There's simply not enough space to put that amount of equipment on a vessel. Plus, it would weigh too much and use too much power for the current technology to be a viable solution. However, by running a practical trial, LiveCorp learned how dehumidification may operate on a vessel and can now run more accurate simulations. This will help to identify the performance needed from dehumidification technology if it's going to work on a livestock export vessel. Any solutions presented in future can then be measured against those specifications. The modelling has also highlighted potential future research. This includes better understanding the amount of heat generated by sheep and the role shipboard ventilation systems play in removing both heat and gases such as ammonia from the livestock pens. The trial was part of an open innovation approach which identified a range of detection and response technologies being used in other industries and examined whether they could be adapted to livestock exports. By turning the traditional research model on its head, LiveCorp has been able to fast track its efforts to tackle the issue of heat stress. So open innovation allows us to work with our stakeholders directly to align ourselves to a specific problem that we're trying to address, an outcome we want to achieve, and allows us to, to define that problem and go out to, to the world, to, to the global market for solution providers and test with them whether or not they have a complete solution or part solution to the problem we're seeking to address. While it's likely to be a long time before dehumidification technology is used on livestock export vessels, the project provides enduring value in informing industry of the possibilities and guiding future research.